Oh, we loved it when it first came out. Oh, it's a little speaker like that. And it's tuned like an audio file would say, oh, that sounds nice. Good job. It's neutral. It wasn't, it had bass, but it wasn't overpowering. And it just seemed to sparkle and have some magic. And it was indeed the Dribbit or the Tribit. Somebody clarify how you pronounce that. Max Sound Plus. Is it a coincidence? It sounds like Motion Plus Maybe. and has that sort of neutral tuning when the Motion Plus is tuned by Alan Ross, of course. Good so, job. been a classic. Well, why isn't it your 50 quid champion? Well, I've given it away. 43 quid. Almost a no break. It's almost like they're giving it to you for nothing. It's $64, 43 quid in the UK. Wow. Lovely, lovely. But I preferred the bigger warmer base of the Soundcore boost. Well, we knew you'd prefer the Soundcore because you work for them. Do, just to clarify, do not work for Soundcore. If I work for Soundcore, they owe me a lot of money. Right, get back to the real world now. Okay, I will. It's got a little dent in. Do you know what that means? It means I actually use it. I don't just review it and throw it away. And I told him it was all right and I, I'm never going to listen to it again. No, if I say it looks, if I say it sounds good, means I'm going to listen to it. I buy speakers that I potentially actually want to listen to. That are interesting to me. So, the, the, the main downside of this particular speaker, as I said, it doesn't, it has an accurate bass, but not a warm bass. Uh, that's why I made my 50 pound champion the Soundcore Boost and then the Bogassing M4. Lots of issues with that speaker, but for the money, gives a lot of great bass. So, didn't, if, if you could only pair, so you couldn't do, True wireless stereo pairing, TWS. Do you know what do you know what they went and done? They went and upgraded it. It's exactly the same looking speaker. But there are differences. You can now pair two of them in stereo. Isn't that absolutely fantastic? Not only that, it's got a little label. Why well, they got a label on it out? I don't know. I've seen this dude. I've seen Tribit do this uh, on the uh, the Mega, wasn't it? Something it was XL Mega. I don't know if it's because they have the speaker made and then they just change it, change their ideas later. But that is to tell you about the different, well, if I turn it on, I'll be able to show you. It's about the different modes you now get. So this is the new upgraded version. All the, you, you notice by the way, three speakers on this table, they are all max sound pluses. Two of them are the old version. One of them is the new version. On the old version, you turn it on just like that. It's got white. LED, what does that mean now? Means you're in X base, extra base mode. But of course, it was always not really extra. That was, someone scored a goal and <laughs> uh, it's already hooked up to me phone. I'm really curious going to see who scored the goal, but I'll have to do it later. If I turn X base off, that's it. You can have LED white light on or off, and that means X base on or off. Now, now, I press it, I can't, it's, wow. It went green. What's green now? Well, that's what the label tells you. Green is audiobook mode. This is the new thing with Trivia. They're doing with their speakers. They're giving you audiobook mode. They've done their market research. They know what people want. It's a shocker to me that there's this market out there that wants, that buys these speakers, but actually just wants to listen to audiobook, audiobooks and wants a different mode when they do that. But yeah, there you go. There's one of the differences. The whole point of me telling you this, it's got a green light you won't get on the old version. Audio book mode, if I turn it again. Now, it's X bass off and they're calling that music mode and if I hit it again, guess what it does? It goes back to extra bass mode. So, that's one of the differences. The other difference is we've now got Bluetooth 5. The old version had Bluetooth 4.2. The old version, I just said, could not, you couldn't pair two of them. It was always a huge miss. And now you can pair two of them. That's absolutely fantastic. We've now got USB-C connection. Uh, that's nice because how many people have still got their old uh, micro connections, the micro cables, and that's basically the differences. So we need to go over those differences. If you've got the old version, I had the old version. Was there a point or is there a point for you in the testing for you, talking to you, to upgrade, to upgrade to get another one? What would be the reasons? Well, you've got three modes. The first thing we're going to have to understand is what is the difference between those three modes?
So the top white line is the audiobook mode, but normalized to be around the same volume as x bass mode and music mode, because it's incredibly quiet. Volume's reduced everywhere. It just seems to be lined up around that 1500 hertz mark. If we normalize it to see what's actually going on, we can see it's a bass cut from around 125 hertz. The real boost is around 700 hertz to just over three kilohertz, and then completely rolled off. So I'm not sure what that's all about. The green line is X bass mode, as you can see, yes, huge bass compared to music mode. Otherwise, they are basically identical. Music mode seems slightly brighter on my measurement, but not hugely so. Slightly brighter, less bass, could sound a bit thinner. So which one is actually more accurate, X bass or music mode? We overlay the original track. You can see, well, X bass mode really is the one that has a bass that looks more like the original track. Yes, it's not in the same place. It seems to have the same sort of bass peak and indeed the same width. It's just moved up from the 50 hertz peak on the original. It's now around the 80 hertz mark. So to all intents and purposes, you'd have to say without X bass mode, you're cutting bass. So as I said it before, X bass mode is not an extra bass boost above and beyond the original track. Damn. Give me the bass that should be there, albeit if they're, if, if they're doing what appear, they appear to be doing, just moving the deeper bass up further, a lot, a lot of them do that, it's great. Give you the bass, just give it further up, otherwise you'll never get any of that deep bass. So the bass is there, and if you turn off X bass, you've got less bass than you should have. It's a bass cut. I don't know why they're calling it music mode, but just had the Devalier where they called it hi-fi mode, a different mode, but I don't know how they come up with these names. Oh, um, they, they just can't miss, ow! What should we do with our speak? What should we name it? Let's see. Do we really need the audio book mode? Because if we didn't have the audio book mode, we wouldn't need that label, which is gonna come off down the road. You're gonna lose that label, although it's not a big deal because uh, the colored LEDs clearly tell you. I don't know who the people are. I would say they must know what, what uh, the, their user base want. <laughs> if they want audio book mode, then, uh, then party, party on. That was telling me half time, by the way. <laughs> So, at the end of the day, fantastic we've got audio book mode, but what was the point? Because to me, you cut, cut the highs, cut the lows. Nuke what is the point? Oh, it's gonna make it sound clearer, Al. Does it, does it really? Oh, okay. <laughs> Are you telling me without that audio book mode, you couldn't listen to someone talking? Uh, I would have to beg, to beg to disagree. So, one, two, three speakers on this table. The real, real question is, has the tuning changed. Actually, is it even better than the mega speaker we had before? Is it even better? Well, let's, let's have a listen. three speakers close enough to sound identical. If you're being picky, you can see the version two is slightly brighter than the other two speakers. 
it has less in the upper bass and lower mids. Again, that's going to emphasize the high end. Well within sample variation, and to all intents and purposes, you'd have to say old version, new version have the same tuning. Do you know what? Tiny, tiny differences. They're actually smaller than I would expect. These budgets, oh, anything, any gadget you get, they're all made with intolerances. Part of what you pay when you buy whatever it is, uh, I pay a lot more for this sort of thing. I, I was in the world of photography, and you pay for better tolerances. What does that mean? It means in focus, out of focus, stuff like that, that you, you just assume it's gonna come with, but they have tolerances for these things when they come off the production line for what they consider in focus and out, out of focus. So what they consider the default tuning, it's going, these drivers have tolerances. They are not all going to sound the same. We had the same thing with the most, my most three motion pluses. There are differences between, one of them was a lot quieter than I would expect, but I don't know what that's about, but they are not going to sound exactly the same. Not, that's something to remember when you're hearing all these comparisons. Oh, I heard it in the sound of it. They're all going to sound a little bit different. There's going to be less of a difference, you would hope and expect as you move up in budget, because part of what you pay for is tighter tolerances. We're talking 40, 50 pound speakers. So they're going to vary, and I have to say, that was a lot closer between three of these bits. So to all intents and purposes, tuning after is the same as the tuning before. They're going to sound the same to your ears. Only in an AB can you pick out and say, well, ooh, that's, that one sounds a little bit brighter and that's gonna happen, or that one has a little bit more bass. <laughs> if you didn't hear three speakers compared and you only had one, your mate is gonna describe the same sound signature as you are also hearing on your speaker, even though they're not actually uh, exactly the same. My speaker's got deep bass, balanced mids, and a bright high. Yes, mine sounds exactly the same. Now here's the kicker. You said out, yes I did. You can now pair them. Oh, so if I buy two of the new ones, I can pair them in stereo, and then I'd have to give my mate the other one. No, it's absolutely incredible, because uh, just like the uh, Stormbox Micro 2, you can pair it with the version one. So they're calling this version two, version one. I'm looking around the table from your phone. And do you know why? Because to demonstrate to you how you do this, I'm gonna have to go and get my phone. I will be back in a minute. 12 seconds later. Back with me phone, I'm going to connections, Bluetooth. Why are you doing that out? Well, I'm gonna tell you, don't be impatient, because I'm now connect I'm connected, I, just, I turned it on. You heard the uh, football scores coming through before, but I can actually see who scored now. And nobody of note. Okay, so what you're going to need to do is disconnect. You don't have to go through the unpairing. You just have to disconnect it. So it's now searching Bluetooth mode. I'm going to now turn on speaker B. And by the way, when I said all three sound the same, that was the original when the speakers first came out. A little bit later I bought that and then I bought that. So at all at different times, all sound the same. So that's now not paired at all, and that's the important bit. The second speaker do not have paired at all. They are both in searching Bluetooth mode. All I have to do is hold down Bluetooth mode button. Stereo mode. Stereo mode, and that is music to our ears. That means they are now paired. It's telling me that the, the master is the left channel. I'm now going to just simply tap to reconnect and go to my uh, no copyright music and start playing. And they should, they'll both be paired. Now, give them a, a second or two to pair up as they just did. That's a beautiful thing. You've got version one, should you buy version two? Well, yeah, if you want to play them in stereo, you can now do that. The, the downside to this, the kicker is, they won't be stereo linked. I don't know if, the, if you have two of the new versions, whether they will be linked forever like that. I think they are but when I pair my old version with the new version, I have to do that, what I just did, I have to do each time they start up. So the question is, big, big deal Al, but it's gonna cost me twice as much if I add two of them, is it worth it? Let's, let's compare one versus two, and to make it really fair, I'm normalizing. I'm suddenly getting this barrage of, of comments on, why do you normalize? You know, these, every one of those per people have no idea what normalizing means, or, or they've seen people who don't normalize properly. What it's called is having them at the same loudness. 
when you play your music, you, you just adjust the loudness to your ears. And that's what I'm doing. And that's a tiny bit. I'm already getting the volumes so the loudness matched. And a little bit of difference between those volumes. I am normalizing. So, normalize. So they're absolutely the same loudness. Absolutely fair test. What is the difference between having two of them with a nice tight stereo image in the front versus just having a single speaker in front? And by the way, one issue, there is some wandering of the focus. So it tends to wander to the left in the first few minutes. Once, I don't know, once it seems to learn it's in stereo mode, after that, it's fine. It only does that in the start. And after, after it's done that, after the first few minutes, I find um, it's, it plays solid in stereo. Have a listen. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals, so let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel. That's right. I'll be the predator, I'll hunt the prey Then we can make love every night, every day It's a jungle out there and life still ain't easy But we can make like the animals on TV Cause you and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals So let's do it like they do on the Discovery Channel You and me, baby, ain't nothing but mammals So let's do it going to need to listen on headphones, I think, to really get the difference between one and two. Because it just adds a whole different level of dimensionality to it in terms of the imaging and the so and you know just the fact they're separated and how the those timing difference we've talked about it in previous videos if you watched my previous videos on the Devali on the Huawei sound disappointment oh Huawei sound joy <laughs> what these times so I mean that's the timing difference to your left and right ear is how you 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 place things uh, around you. That's how your ears work. It's really important having uh, timing differences, and that's that's what's happening. That you're not really getting with the, that first that, that one speaker that's solid in front of you. So it's, it's a whole different way of listening, and I can only say it works really well. Not all speakers come alive when you do that, but, but uh, these these do. It, it's a whole different le level of immersion. But what about if you just if it's just about you want a bit more volume? So maximum volume, how much more volume do you get? Just in case you don't know, if you have one, if you double the power, if you had a 20 watt speaker and you, had, and you doubled the power and you had it 40 watts, you'd expect another three decibels of loudness. Remember, it doesn't mean it's going double, it's 10 decibels would be doubling perceived loudness. So three, it's not, so it's not getting that much louder, but it's significantly louder. But you've also got, now, because you've got two of them, twice the surface area. So double your power, you get 3D, 3D decibels of gain. Um, and if you have more surface area, if you double the surface area of your drivers, transducers, whatever you want to call them, in the modern world they seem to call them transducers, um, you get another 3 dB. So you having a second one, you'd expect about six decibels of gain, but it doesn't always translate exactly like that. It's not an exact equation. Let's have a listen. Maximum volume. Now I know a little more because I found real love and it's not one side. Now I know a little more and he's gonna stay. And now I'm falling, falling into new arms I'm all in. Tell me how to break through. Thank God there's no one like you. So I was a scared to lose you. Silly girl, what a fool. Cause now you're gone, I'm great. Oh, oh. I never. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm light on my feet 
quite the... Well, I'd normally expect about five decibel gain in, in my yeah, measurements. Um, and of course, it depends on the distance you are measuring. But uh, whether it's peak, I only got another couple of decibels. And in luffs, um, I got, I think, about four decibels. But it's significant. It's not just about the extra loudness that you're getting. It's, it's so much more enjoyable at maximum volume than the tinny sound of a single one. Suddenly, that everything opens up. So, given the price of this speaker, 43 quid. To me, if you've got a version one, it's an absolute no-brainer to get another one for all the extra uh, options you got. However, just know you're gonna have to pair them each and every time you start up. Um, and if you haven't got one of these speakers at all, it's definitely a speaker uh, that you really need to consider because um, it's out on its own, really. At this price level and this size, in being a neutral, it's slightly on the bright side of neutral, but to all intents and purposes, neutral sounding speaker, people are gonna love that. I mean, if people, if you do analytical listen listening, you're going to love that. And it still does it with a dollop of bass. It's not a subwoofer, of course, none of these speakers are. But there's enough bass there for you to get a sense of what the original track was um, and to be quite rewarding as, as a listen, to, be, to do that smile test. So, there's the difference between the new version. Did I go through all the, yeah, I think I told you all the differences. Well, not, not many, but enough to, to warrant you upgrading. Just to go over the specs of this speaker. Of course, it's made in China giving you the price, 16.3 one hour battery, SBC codec. Now, uh, I've gone over a lot of my speakers, but I didn't really have a look at what bit rate they're actually giving. And a lot of them don't even give the bit rate that uh, SBC should give. At least they do the 328 kilo bits per second that S the SBC codec will allow. So you get the full dollop of that. It, it is a 24 watt speaker. It is IPX7 rated. One meter of water, 30 minutes, to 45 millimeter, ah, full range drivers, to passive radiators. Uh, the downside is, well, there's no app support because Tribit are now come at tri Tribit, Tribit, ah, I don't know. But they've now got an app, but not many of their speakers support the app, or well, the app doesn't support many of their speakers. This is one of those speakers that will not be working with the app. With the so-called uh, EQ in the app, but it's, it's really, really, really flaky. Obviously, early days for that app. 135 milliseconds I'm getting uh, lip sync is, it's not great. I've seen, I've seen a lot worse, but that's noticeable uh, lip sync. And it was identical between version one, version two, and you compare them, there, there's your clue there, the same chip. 135 milliseconds, Mikey cutoff point, 100, uh, uh, 80 milliseconds for whether it's reasonable to be streaming and not notice uh, massive lip sync issues. That's basically the video. The differences between version one and version two they're gonna sound the same to your ears, but there are other compelling reasons to upgrade. Probably the biggest one of all you know, is the fact you can do stereo pairing now, even with version one. Thank you once again for watching me go through my stuff, whatever you wanna call what I do, and uh, I hope to see you in another video. Thanks for watching. I got their life, I got their life. Ain't a project wife, got my logic right, cause I'm not your type. I got that life, I got that life. Sorry, my heart ain't get it right. I'ma just live my life. I ain't about that, I ain't about that life. Uh.